Hello everyone, this is Joey. I'm back, and wow, look at this. I got a house now. Um, I had made several videos, uh, and then I went on vacation, and I came back and made a few more, and I never got around to uploading them. And I can't remember quite what I put in them, so I thought that I would make another video that would sum up everything that I've done since my last video. So in my last video, this house was made out of dirt, and now it's made out of stone, bricks, and glass panes. Uh, it's got a glass ceiling. It's, I think it's very beautiful. A chest over here, my bed. If you go down here, I've got a storage room with all kinds of junk in it. If you go even further down, I've got a um, uh, what do you call this thing? I don't know, brewing stand and a water source, an infinite water source, so that's cool. Then in here is my enchantment room and, and check this part out, look. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Uh, that allows me to get kind of mid-range um, enchantments or I can get the full power enchantments using this right here. So that's cool. Um, if you go further down, it's just more of the same uh, in the same kind of L shape so that's pretty weird um, what else do I have over here if you go over here I built this little shaft through this uh, mountain for reasons unknown and we'll go all the way down through here so I can show you my neatest invention let me just sprint because I got plenty more zombie flesh and I'll show you how I acquired that zombie flesh uh, so I built this little room down here and well, I'll just go in here and show you. So up there, you'll see a piston, and behind this wall, there's a uh, zombie spawner. And so uh, the zombie, and then there's a water elevator that goes all the way up to the top where that piston is, and then the water pushes them out onto the piston. And then and when I do that, they drop down whenever they've spawned. They, they haven't had a chance to spawn in yet, so... Um, not too much. This is just a cave over here, nothing special. And more cave over there. And here's some of my tools. An unbreaking axe. An unbreaking shovel. And all these pickaxes, which I could use one right now. And do I need anything else here? No. Okay, cool. Does this go anywhere? No, this doesn't go anywhere. So that's pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that I could show it off, but I don't. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. They need a few minutes to uh, start spawning in and then make their way over to this corner, and then because there's a little, you know, a room around the spawner, and then they there. There's one. There's one. He's up there. So when they fall. Uh, they're just one hit kills so that's pretty cool that's a great way to farm experience and I, I put this piston here but thinking that that would kill them if I just wanted to kill them and not collect the <coughs> <coughs> experience but excuse me for that coughing but it, it doesn't work so enough of that that's my mob spawn spawner farm thing so, we'll go over here. We'll head up to the tippy top of the world. I don't know that I showed this in a previous video, but I've done a lot more work on it. So, uh, I don't think I had it built, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that I did not have this 
even close to being built. Maybe I did. I don't know. I can't remember. My last video was me recovering after I died, and I don't remember how I died. I think I just fell in some lava, so... Whoa! I built this little castle spire up here on top of this mountain. Cool, huh? And I got this thing here that takes me to the nether. Ooh. Wow, weird, weird, wild stuff. So, uh, I built some tunnels here in the nether so that I wouldn't be bothered by ghasts. And uh, this one leads to nowhere currently. Uh, I'm going to head off in that direction. Here is my nether wart farm. And I've already actually farmed some off of it. Uh, because when they get to be this big, they drop more than one. And sometimes they go into the fire, but there we go. Uh, but when they get to be that big, they'll drop more than more than one. So, uh, And they grow better with fire next to them. So that's why I have the fire there. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's kind of a unique design. I haven't seen anybody else with this particular design. So, I uh, thought that was cool. Uh, and this is a little bit different from my previous world in that this is only one block wide to kind of save on cobble. Uh, the only disadvantage to that being that it's hard to get past the um, zombie pigmen that spawn in. But uh, I just kill them and deal with the consequences. And see, the gas can't see me through the glass for some reason, so I don't have to worry about them. And then, if you go off down that way, there's a, a, a nether fortress. But uh, everybody's seen one of those. And it's got a one of those spawn things. The, um, oh, what do you call it? Wow. Oh, my clothes are done in the dryer. If anybody was wondering what that buzzing noise was. Uh, maybe you can see this spire here that I built. See? Kind of cool. Looks a little... Castle so I'll go back down and I've got a melon farm I'm not going to show you that it's uh, kind of lame I really really need to kind of redesign the melon farm uh, but it, it's it's just right over there you could see it when I looked off the top of the spire there and then this uh, is pretty cool it goes all the way down to bedrock and uh, but before you get to bedrock there is is this it no that's not it that goes into the wonderful cave system down there uh, that uh, I was showing you earlier so yeah here's my uh, strip mine kind of thing it's not really a strip mine but it's a mine uh, this is where I'm uh, farming for resources like lapis. Look at all this wonderful lapis. Oh yeah. And it's my slime farm uh, because I was bound and determined to uh, find a place where I could get slimes to consistently uh, spawn and so I was like I'll just go down to level 12-ish and start mining crap out and get if you get a room big enough you're eventually gonna run across a chunk that slime spawn in so uh, that's what I did here and uh, I did it uh, if you notice my Y coordinate is 12.62 and that is because uh, when your Y coordinate is 12.62 that means your feet are on layer 10 so this is the top of layer 10 right here and this is where the lava pools so I can just come in here with a bucket of water and obsidianize all the lot of it and not have to worry about it like dumping in on me I mean I, you do kinda have to worry about it dumping in on you because I mean lava is not all at layer 10 but it pools at layer 10 so uh, it's less of a risk and then if you go further down this is kind of a little branch mine that I started but I don't know how much of that I'm gonna how much I'm gonna do with that really uh, but if you go up here yeah like I said that's a little mine shaft 
natural cavern type thing. If you go all the way up here, uh, this one goes back to the uh, that little shaft I dug through the through the mountain, and this one comes out kind of halfway up the mountain or a third of the way up the mountain. And actually, if you you can drop down this shaft. This is the express elevator down, and there's water down at the bottom to prevent you from dying a horrible death. Close that. There's my melon farm. Uh, not too productive right now. I think I need to go over there and till the soil or something like that. But um, I really want to redesign my melon farm. I'm not at all satisfied with it. So um, I think I'll do that eventually. I think I'll take out this part that my cross hatch is on and fill in these water bits and then take all that out put the water in behind and fill in these water bits with more dirt and just and can and grow more melons and pumpkins I think I have some pumpkins in there as well so uh, that's tour of my little world everything I've done since then uh, since my last video it's quite a bit actually um, and I've also been playing a lot of Terraria, um, especially in the past week or so. Uh, kind of gotten, I never really got, I bought the game thinking that it would be cool and never really got into it. Uh, but for whatever reason, I've kind of gotten into it lately. Um, I thought that Terraria would be more, um, adventurous than Minecraft, but it, it ends up being a lot more mining than Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, you really have to mine for your resources. A lot of exploring uh, goes on, so uh, to to get the higher level weapons which you need to fight the bosses and such. So uh, there's a lot less uh, adventuring around and a lot more kind of tedious mining going on. So I'm in that tedious mining stage right now of Terraria, but. Anyway, enough of that. This is my Minecraft world. Looking good. Looking good. And uh, I'm really happy with what I got right now. And hopefully I will update a little bit more frequently. I went on vacation. Kind of got out of my groove. So I'm back, you know, doing stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll be making some videos and uploading them soon. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye now.